hate it or love it, Amazon has absolutely everything. And when I say everything, you know, I mean absolutely everything. It has infiltrated our lives on so many levels, especially since the panorama. So this video is not sponsored by Amazon. These are all things that I love, that I use to slay my wigs that I get from Amazon. And so I'm going to be sharing them with you as well. If you use any of the links, which will be down in the description box, I will receive a commission from them. So that will help me to continue to bring you these fun videos because if you've never seen me in history of life, my name is Equoia. I own a company called Silky Sex where I sell luxury hair care products. And I also do a lot of wig reviews and wig teaching and related videos here on YouTube. So I know a thing or two about slaying a wig and so I'm going to be sharing these wig slaying products and tools that you can order from Amazon right now. So if you want to get some stuff so you can slay your wig then you're in the right place or if you know somebody who loves to slay wigs maybe you can get some gift ideas. So without further ado let's go ahead and get into these products you guys. So the first products are these Eben Tint Lace Sprays. I love these because they come in a whole bunch of colors for your complexion and what I like about them is they are an aerosol spray so they're really quick. They dry really quickly. If you just need to spray your wig quickly, I love these that they work really really quickly. Eben actually has a lot of great wig products. I have a few that I'm going to be using in this list but definitely I love these if you're looking for a fast way to uh, spray your wig lace tint and get it done. A little bit goes a long way. Of course you spray it in layers and I've used this in plenty of reviews. I really do love that wig spray. Now the next Eben product that I love is this wig bond adhesive. Now this is the extra firm hold. This is a supreme. They do have other ones but I really like this one. I don't glue my wigs down a lot but if I'm going somewhere, if I have an event or if I'm doing a photo shoot, I definitely like to spray some adhesive and glue my wigs down and I really like this because it does the job of holding really really well and it's easy to take off with just a little oil. Um, so I really like this. It's fast drying. It doesn't like really leave a residue and it is uh, sweat resistant. So I really like this one. Now I have it in a travel size because like I said, I do not do a lot of gluing my wigs down. So a travel size will last me a long time, but they do come in full sizes for those of you who want to spray your wigs down every day or if you wear them sprayed down every single day, then you probably would get more for your money if you get the full size one. But if you just want to try it, I definitely recommend doing a travel size first. That is a tip and something I use a lot, especially when I'm trying a new product for wigs. If it comes in a travel size, I'll try that first. So that way if I don't like it, I don't have a huge big product that I'm trying to uh, get rid of and that I'm not wasting. So yeah, the black bottle, if you want long lasting spray down, baby try this. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Now the next one is this five second detangler for wigs by Eben. I also love this. This is 8.5 ounces. It goes a long way because a little goes a long way. And what I like about this is you can use it on either human hair wigs or synthetic wigs. And it really does a great job of detangling. It doesn't leave like that super, super shine on the wig, which I really like. It makes it very manageable, makes it very easy to detangle. Even if you're watching this video, can you sponsor me and send me some products please? Because I love you guys' products and I recommended this product in a wig group that I'm in on Facebook and the woman was like, oh my god, Ikoya, thank you so much. I love this product. It really does work, you guys. So. Now this next product is this light silk spray simply styling and I actually learned about this from another wig reviewer is that your hair and so I tried it and I love it. It really is great for bringing a wig back especially synthetic wigs you can use them on human hair wigs but if you have like a synthetic wig that you've been wearing for a while and she is just looking a hot mess you can definitely spray this on to bring her back. I definitely use this a lot and have used this a lot to bring wigs back. And so I would definitely recommend this if you wear a lot of synthetic wigs. It's a nice little product to have in your arsenal just to touch the wig up and to bring it back, especially if it's like a little detangler matted. You can go in with a detangler first and then put this in it and it, before you style it and you are good to go. These are both really, really great products you got. Now this next product is something that I felt really really strongly about as well this is the bonafide natural oil free wig shine you guys I use this all the time on my more natural style wigs 
last couple years they've been coming out with a lot of synthetic wigs especially that mimic African American hair a more coily or kinkier texture of hair and sometimes the wigs whatever they're doing to the hair sometimes I feel like it might dry it out and then I also wear a lot of blonde yakky textured wigs which also can look kind of dry baby this oil free wig shine gives it that just enough shine so you won't have that like wiggy look but it won't look so dry because you don't want to look like your hair is straw especially if you do like me and you wear a lot of blonde wigs you just want it to look have that natural luster and look really pretty really healthy and this really does that i started off with this in a trial size a travel size and as you can see i don't know if you can tell in the video i used bought the real thing once i was done with that or the regular size i should say not the real thing and it's like about here so this is another one trust me you want this in your wig arsenal especially if you wear a lot of synthetic natural style wigs or a lot of yakky blonde colored wigs this helps take that dryness away and gives it a nice subtle shine so that you will look nice and healthy and beautiful like a pantene commercial you know what i'm saying this stuff does it now this next product is cantu's thermal shield heat protectant spray you guys i'm wearing tapins now yes if you like them then please hit the link also down there and join our mailing list so you'll know when we are dropping them but i have been wearing my hair straight with these tape ends and i never straighten my hair without heat protectant and heat protectant is so important to use when you're straightening your hair especially if you have a more natural textured hair or curly hair coily hair kinky hair this really helps because it's going to take higher heat and more heat to straighten your hair and so this protectant just goes in as an extra layer to protect it so that you're not causing a lot of damage to your hair and so i really like this i used this before i recorded this video sprayed some of the heat protectant in and went in and flat ironed my hair and i absolutely love it i think it gives you a nice little shine but most importantly it's just at adds that extra layer of protection because we all know especially over time straightening your hair a lot and using a lot of heat in your hair can cause damage and so anything that I can do to protect my natural hair I do and so I would definitely invest in some heat protectant and also I use this on my wigs my human hair wigs if I'm going to straighten it because it is human hair right and putting heat in it will also have that same effect and so just a little heat protectant can go a long way when you're doing a lot of styling with heat definitely something I would invest in now this next product is the cure care wax stick and I learned from this from another reviewer as well god her name is slipping me right now but this stuff works wonders it's a wax stick and basically what you do is you just rub it in the top of your wig especially when you're wearing like silk yourselves like this and it helps with all the frizzes and the frays i even use this on my natural hair with my clip-ins and i put this in first and then i go back behind it with either a hot comb um, most of the time or you can even go in with a flat iron the wax just helps to make those frizzies and that hair really lay straight I also like to use this on wigs with a lot of baby hair because I'm not a big baby hair slayer and so I feel like putting a little bit of this on it and putting it helps the baby hairs to go back into the wig and back into the hairline without them being as noticeable and detectable so uh, wax sticks are great for wigs and natural hair they really really do their job as far as getting that hair to lay really sleek so if you do a lot of sleek licks or even if you just want the hairs at the top to not be so frizzy definitely invest in a wax stick all right and these last products are these dry shampoos if you wear a lot of synthetic wigs especially dry shampoos really come in handy they help take that shine off of wigs and what I found is originally I was using this just original dry shampoo but what I found about original dry shampoo is it leaves like a white cast or a white film which is fine on my blonde wigs but I noticed when I do my darker wigs it will kind of have like that white cast and if you don't remember to rub it in very well you can see it so I invested in same thing i tried a trial size of this dry shampoo for dark hair and it worked wonders and so once i ran out of it then i went ahead and immediately got the big one and this i'm telling you if you wear a lot of brunette wigs synthetic wigs baby 
get you some of this dry shampoo. Now, when you spray it on, it doesn't have a white cast, but be careful, it does leave a little bit of a cast on your clothing, so just wanna be aware of if you get it on your clothes. But when you put it in, in the hair and then you brush it in, it goes in much more nice and it doesn't leave the film on there like a regular one would do. So, I don't know if you tend to wear darker wigs or not, but if you wear darker wigs, then definitely invest in the darker brunette one. And then if you wear, you know, blonde wigs, then I would go with this one. I think they even have one for red. I don't do a lot of red, so I tend to usually either do blondes or darker colors. So, but they do have it for red hair as well. And I think they do have other scents, but these are the two that I really love and stand by. So if you are wearing a lot of synthetic wigs, baby, add this, add this to your wig arsenal. You will thank me later. So we are done with the product portion of the video. Do me a favor, please give me a thumbs up. This will let the platform know that what we're talking about is some good stuff. It also helps me out with the algorithm because you know how these algorithms are, you guys. They show you videos less and less and less and I want to help you more and more and more. So if you could just help me out, also share this video with somebody who you know who loves wigs or hair products. And so now without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these tools, y'all, because tools are essential to styling, okay? Once you get the products, they don't mean nothing if you don't have the tools. So let's go ahead and get into these tools. So the first thing I want to share is this wig head. I know she's kind of bigger, almost bigger than me, huh? So silly. Anyway. This is a wig head. I actually seen this from another wig reviewer, Queendom Mindset, and I was like, oh girl, I need this because I am selling hair. I also sell my wigs. And so this is nice to use to um, put your wigs and stuff on when you're selling them. You know, it's a way, if you don't want to take pictures yourself, you can use it. But I also love her because when I comb my wigs out, um, I put her on this. When I'm styling them, when I'm cutting the lace sometimes, I will put it on this. It is very nice at the bottom. She has the opening so you can put her on a tripod. She's all made up and I'm all about the glamour so I love that. She even has lashes you guys. She even has lashes so for the price I love her. You will get a lot of use out of her especially especially if you have a business. She is a must. She comes in different shades so they do have that option as well and I just absolutely love her you guys. She is one of my favorite Amazon products that I've ever bought, actually. We gotta give her a name. Put it down in the comments. What should we name her? What should we name her? Yes, so, wig head, good to style your wigs on, good to use to also take pictures and sell your wigs with as well. All right, so the next product, you guys, do not judge me. I know it's looking crazy, but this is a Styrofoam wig head. This is a wig that I actually dyed. This wig glows in the dark, and I used it. Oh, she's sliding off. I used it in a Silky Sacks commercial, and um, I'll insert the pictures here. I love this wig. I know it's looking crazy right now because she's a little dry. She's been sitting out on this wig head, but I love her, and I actually dyed the wigs for the commercial with this wig because on those other wig heads they are expensive they're not cheap and so you don't want to be getting dye and getting all kind of stuff on your wig so i like this styrofoam wig head because it allows you to it has the opening at the bottom as well as hole you can put the wig head on a stand and then you can part the hair and go in and use the brush and dye it i like to dye my hair especially the human hair with that way so you can really get get in and give it a good look now i know a lot of people do the watercolor thing and that's fine as well but when you want to do it another way a wig head is really nice to do it on and then what i like about this is because it is styrofoam then i don't care about it getting all messed up and getting a little dirty if some of the dye happens to fall on there which as you can see it did then no biggie i only paid a couple bucks for this and i can use it over and over again and then i actually like the put a shower cap on it and then put the wig on top and do it so that minimizes some of it getting you know at the top because you don't want to be dyeing the um the lace inside the cap so i do that put it on here and as you can see she's a mess from all the wigs that i've dyed in the past and who cares she was just a couple bucks on amazon so it doesn't matter and once you get one you can just use it over and over and over again and then i have my nice wig head so when i want to display it nicely so Yes, a styrofoam wig head is great to have, especially if you do a lot of coloring of your units. All right, the next tool that you wanna have is this wig grip, you guys. Wig grips are so popular now, 
and they are really good this one is from Milano I actually did a review on this and I love this because like I said I don't always glue my wigs down if I'm going out and wearing my wig usually I will put on my wig grip first and these are great because they keep your wig in place they protect your edges they keep your um, wig from sliding around and that protect you around your hairline and that friction so I really love this now this one has the little lace here so that it's clear where your part is so you can't see it under your lace tint now I use this wig grip along with a wig cap because I have longer hair and so the cap helps to keep my hair in place and then the wig grip helps to keep my wig in place if you have shorter hair then I would recommend you get this one which is also by Milano but this is the wig grip cap and it's the wig grip and the cap all in one I also did a review on this and I really love this my only issue with this was my hair is kind of long and so I had a harder time making it all fit under here comfortably but I do recommend this especially if you have a small head i feel like this gets everything done in one so instead of having to put the cap on and the wig grip you're protecting your hair and your hairline all at once and this is by milano this was such a smart thing to invent it also both of them come in different um shades so you can get a lighter one you can get a darker one depending on your complexion but i love them i say go either way if you have a shorter hair and if you have thinner hair i would go with this or if you um, have like you know balding or hardly any hair I would definitely say just save yourself some heartache and some time and just invest in this and then if you have longer hair I would definitely go with this one but both of them are really really great products great job Milano both of them work wonders now this next product is from the dry bar I love the dry bar this is the perfect um, blowout brush and I think this brush is amazing so let me just show you I love this brush I use this brush to just put a little heat in my wigs to straighten them especially on how we were talking about those wigs earlier those natural style wigs like this because when I find when you go on with those wigs on a flat iron you can change the texture of the wig and make the wig super straight and I like my yakier wigs to have a little bit of texture to them so I feel like these brushes allows you to put some straighten in the hair and like especially in the crown and flatten it without changing the texture I feel like flat irons and even sometimes a hot comb can change the texture where these will just do the straightening and the flattening without changing the texture so I love this one by dry bar it's a little bit on the pricier side but it's worth the investment it's like quality you guys so easy to use and they even have a travel size one that I have the link for it as well so if you this one is a little big for you and you're like mm, I don't know the it's kind of pricey you can definitely go in with the travel size one it does the job as well it's smaller so if you need to get into these like smaller spaces and you can do that as well and you can travel with it of course but yeah I think this is essential and so the last tool is this blow dryer from dry bars well I told you guys I really really love dry bar I feel like their products are a little bit more pricier but their quality they're worth it I feel like once you buy it one time you will never have to buy it again and I'm all about quality over price and quantity so this is the hot air dry bar blow dryer it is a travel size like I said earlier I don't like to put a lot of heat in my hair but if I need to have heat for some reason it's always good to have a blow dryer and this is perfect because it's small so it can fit under my cabinet I can travel with it if I am going somewhere and I need to lay my wig I can bring it with me it's very easy and uh, this can come off or stay on and I use it when I melt my wigs with my even black adhesive well I don't use it a ton but when I need to use it it's there and that's what I like about it it's nice it can fit under the cabinet nicely and once I need it it's there it is a very powerful blow dryer because it was made to do blow outs all the time so you get a lot of power in such a little bitty blow dryer and like I said I've had this for years and I have not had to replace it so if you blow dry your hair a lot then you definitely would want to invest in this because it will last it has the power and even if you don't blow your blow dry your hair a lot but you want a nice blow dryer because I know I've bought in the past those cheaper little blow dryers and after a while they go out and this really will last the quality is definitely there so if you're looking for a blow dryer 
to melt your wigs or like if I'm doing a deep conditioning on my hair and I just want to heat it up, this is it. So that was it for my products and tools. Let me know if you use any of these products or tools as well. And if you end up purchasing any of these products and tools, then please hit me up on Instagram and let me know what you used and what you liked. I certainly, certainly, certainly appreciate you for watching and thank you so much for those of you who are shopping and using the links. They really do help me continue to support the channel and bring you guys this good content. So I really, really appreciate it. I hope that you are having a happy holiday season and being safe and taking care of yourself. As always, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. Remember, better care is better wear. And I hope to see you in the next one.